G'day villas, it's time to set up the TSC controller in another game. This time we're going to set it up in D-Rail Valley. So D-Rail Valley does support joysticks and controllers and things, so there's nothing configured at the moment. So we will escape out of the play. Now you can come here from the main menu or you can come in here from playing. It doesn't actually matter, it's the same thing. And we want controls and control bindings. We don't have a controller set up, so we will add one. And if you just press any button on the controller, it'll now figure out which one you want to talk to. Now, the first thing we're going to do is calibrate the levers. This is kind of important. So we're going to go for axis zero, and we're going to say calibrate this axis, and we wait for it to finish, and then run it throughout the whole thing. So if we look at that now, that's good. So that's zero up to one. That's what we want for this particular one. So it's good. All right, now axis one, let's see what that's doing. We should move to the other lever. I think that's fine for axis one. That works the way we want. And axis two. Now, the reason we want it different with the throttle is the game does something weird with the throttle. Mm, that's fine. Okay, click done, because that's all of our axes configured. So now we're going to go through and you want to find the, where it says throttle analog. And we just click that and it'll show the uh, binding screen and then you just move it and it's picked that as axis zero, which is what we want. So train brake is the next one, train brake analog. So we're going to use the usual lever. And there we go, we've got axis one. And independent brake will give a lever. You might have to do some different things if you're using the steam engines. Ah, okay, reverser, we're going to use our switch, same as we do in the other game. So reverser up will be that one. Reverse it down, that one. All right, now what else are we going to do? Dynamic break. I'm not actually assigning a lever, but you might assign that if you wanted to. If you've got dynamic break engines, it might be a good one to assign to this lever. You can't mix them up, unfortunately, but dynamic break would be handy. I don't actually have any locos with dynamic break yet. All right, uh, hand brakes, I don't care about that much. Sand, there's a good one. So sand toggle. There we go, button four. Uh, wipers, I'm not too fussed about. Uh, here we go, headlights rear, headlights front. It's interesting there's not a toggle front and back, isn't there? All right, let's go with that one. And down will be that one. And we might have to set up a different setup for these guys. Uh, cab lights, don't care. Gears, don't care. Horn, there we go. There's one we can want to set up. And horn down. Bell toggle. Now, what else have we got? These are all steam engine things. Couple and uncouple, we could put on a button, I suppose, but uh, we won't. Um, starter and fuel cutoff and things like that. We could also put on buttons and you can do whatever you like, but I've set up enough just to show this thing works. So let's come out of here now with the orange X and we'll come back from the pause screen and we can test some stuff. So let's just have a look down here. Independent brake, nice. It's only using about half the range of the lever though, so maybe we do need to calibrate that one differently. Uh, train brake. Again, that's using half the range of the lever, so we probably need to calibrate that. And throttle. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that is using... Yep, that's using the whole range of the lever, so we definitely need to calibrate those other ones. But let's just for now, let's stop again. Because we want to check out other things. So once we stop, reverse it down. Nice. So if you just give it a quick flick, you end up in the middle. If you hold it, it goes right through. Nice. That's good implementation. Horn. That's pretty good. Sander. Oh, Sander's a toggle. Okay. Let's uh, have a look. What else did we have? Anything? 
That's about it, I think. Oh, lights. Lights. Yeah, cool. All right, let's go for a quick little spin just to make sure this does all work properly. Pretty good to me. Just popped out a little bit of break. Whoop, tree to the face. <laughs> Gotta have a gratuitous bridge shot, even in a tutorial. All right, well, that seems to be working okay. Uh, the only thing we might want to do is calibrate those levers. So let's just pop in and do that now. And we will click on the calibrate button, axis one. Uh, we'll zero both of those and then say calibrate the axis. So we center or zero, so we zeroed it and we'll push it. There we go. That's now using a halfway mark like the other one is. And we'll calibrate this one. So we'll leave it at zero and then give it a push. Whoops, no, we <laughs> mis misread that. And do it now. All right, yeah, that's better. So that'll work better. All right, let's pop those back and come out of there and come out of pause. And let's just go back into the cab and just scroll down to the handles. <laughs> They're now both fully applied. Of course they are. So I pull them back and then move them again. Nope, we've successfully broken them. Fantastic. The other thing still work? And throttle? Yep, throttle still works. All right, let's pop back in and uh, let's just calibrate that again, shall we? Control bindings. And we want to... Calibrate. I did leave them set up, didn't I? Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. Yeah, they're still set up. Good. Calibrate. Axis one. And let's do what it tells, actually. In the, do we need a dead zone? Probably not. Let's just do what it tells us and center them this time. And axis one. Calibrate the axis. And run it through its full range. And axis two, calibrate the axis, and we'll run it through its full range again. And let's just see what that's doing now. That's using the whole thing. And oops, axis one, and that's working as well. Good. All right, let's see what that does. Back out of here again. Okay, it's back to using half the lever, but I'll take that, to be honest. That's working. I can put up with it using half the lever. Righto, good stuff. So that's D-Rail Valley working with the TSC controller. Pretty cool. Happy with that. And we will leave this tutorial there. If you've got any questions, chuck them down below. If you've got any comments or other games you want me to try, Give me a yell. If I've got it, I can.
All right, that's it for now, folks. Enjoy yourselves as usual. Like and subscribe, and we shall see you later. Bye.